What's up, people? It's Crashaholic here, and I have to make an update video. It's been about a month since I've touched this thing, or even worked on it, because I've been waiting to get some money to get some new parts. So, it did skip a chain, and I did buy the new tensioner, which was a need. But when it skipped the chain, the cam stopped moving, and in the place where the, um, this isn't the lifter, I forget what this is called, but this covers the shim. Let me put this whole thing together. So you have your spring here and your cover over it. There's uh, also a retainer in there, but I don't have that because I have it getting fixed right now. I'm bo bored or something like that. I don't know what they called it. But this pushes down the, when the cam spins, it pushes down the spring and there's a valve in it that goes down. But when the cam stopped, it didn't stop pushing against it. It stopped up. And so it just bounced, like, as hard as it could bounce. And I didn't have the right shim size in it. And so it was small. So it bounced more than it should have before hitting the cam. And um, this is the new valve. But it stripped from this part up, from that groove up. It stripped it all the way. And then, as you, if you watch the old video, you can see I tried to kickstart it. So I'm hoping this didn't fall and hit the piston. I haven't yet, I've yet to get into the head yet. But I ordered the new part my uh retainers retainer clips and um so that should be getting done when i get back i'll be going uh, on a vacation for about a week but then i will do a video on me fixing this hopefully none of the other valves are broken i checked the others and they seem fine but hopefully like none of like the piston isn't broken or anything like that and that's that's the goal right there i, I have the New valve here, and then the spring and all this is fine, but I will need to get new shims and all that. But the reason it took me so long is this thing alone was seventy-five dollars, and the retainers, retainer clips are um, uh, twenty-five dollars. So yeah, but I should be getting this done pretty quick and getting back on the bike. I do have a couple more videos I could do, like stripping down that magna over there I still have to do and then finishing up that um that's done externally and internally wise I have um let me get over there I do have it done like my engine's clean obviously not right now because my dad's working on the wood a lot so it's got all this over it so I'm gonna give it a power wash when I pull it out but I got the chain on, I fixed the clutch, shifter's fine, changed the oil, painted the swing arm, put on new handlebars, new grips, taken off the mirrors, put on this mirror, gotten it to start, I don't have gas hooked up to it right now, but all the electronics work, the lights work, the horn, that works, so it all works, um, well I can't start it, but I could dry run it real quick. So it does crank over. That was a big worry when I got it. But this should be done in about a week. I think I could get it done a week after. But, um. As you can see, I put some primer on it and it worked fine. But it was just giving me a light coat. And then this primer is meant for bare metal and I didn't read that. And it cracked. Like it split. So I'm going to resend that and buy some more print primer and um, just finish that up. This is done. It's dusty, but I got this done without any drips, but it dripped on this a couple times. So I'm going to get that done, and I'm going to put on my two-step gloss, and then I'll probably put that in a video. And I'm getting my motorcycle license on that little 250 there, but I'm selling that right after that.
and then I'll probably ride the Magna a little bit, and then I plan on buying my Harley. But hopefully you'll see a lot of this. I'm in summer right now, so I got three months of just freedom. And there's these, maybe I could go to it later and put it on the video, but there's this thing called the Pit, and it's just like a valley in, and it's just, the dirt bikes are allowed there, and they've done some crazy stuff up there. So I'm pumped about that. And then there's this thing, well, not a thing, but there's this place called Kelly Canyon, I think. And it has a bunch of trails I might go to. But hopefully you'll see a lot more of just the pit and motocross tracks. That's the goal. And hopefully this thing will be fine. Basically, with everything I've done, I've rebuilt this bike. After I put in that next valve, it's basically redone besides the piston. And I've redone the shocks, the rear shock. I've taken apart the motor multiple times, cleaned out, bored the head. Um, cleaned off the valves, replaced most of the valves, and that one blew up, so I need to put in a new one. Change the plastics just to make it look more ap appealing. Appealing? Pleasing. One of the two. Um, but yeah, this, <laughs> after this valve, this bike better run how I think it should, because I bought, I traded this bike for my two-stroke, and, um, the more and more I realize how much more work I have to do with this is more seems like a bad idea, but this bike is way more fun, fun to rip around on than my two-stroke. So, hopefully you'll see me with some videos on this this summer. I'm pretty sure you will. Hopefully you'll see some videos of me on the 250, and hopefully you'll see me finish the 750 this summer. I have a lot of things to do, but I think I can get it done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you understand why I've been uploading consistent videos because of this. I've been working hard trying to figure out what's wrong. I finally did and I ordered the parts as soon as I could. Thanks.